Hello my friends, it's Bruns here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the 7 biggest mistakes you are doing as a survivor which are holding you back from winning more games. Now these are collected over playing for some time on my own, also playing with some friends and also by seeing the comments that people post a lot on my videos. So these are going to go by order of importance and you might not agree with the order of importance of these but it doesn't really matter, they're all mistakes and I have to say a lot of matches I've lost is because I've got some some prestige players doing these really bad things and I know they might be trying to help some new players and it's all fun in games so by order of importance number seven you are using the wrong attack type with your character so many times I jump into a game and then I see a Henry or a Scotty shooting with a pistol I mean there's nothing worse than seeing a Scotty or a Henry shooting with a damn pistol and the most depressing thing about the footage you are just seeing is that I had given earlier in this game the Scotty a legendary Pikex and there he is shooting his pistol away. Guys you are warriors, you should not be shooting with your weapons, you should be bashing those enemies with melee attacks and melee attacks only. The only time I will shoot as a warrior is if one of my teammates is possessed and not very near me and I want to just shoot the hell out of them to keep them away from me and try to get them out of the possession. Especially if they're a hunter. If they're a hunter, they can do some really bad damage. They can wipe a whole team at long range. So you want to have a ranged weapon for those cases. Also, if you're a hunter, you do want to be shooting your weapon, not at the start of the game, but once the demons found you, you want to be shooting the weapon. You need to ration your ammunition because ammo is rare. And we're going to be talking about this later. But if you're a hunter, you want to be hitting your enemies with melee attack before the demon has found you of course but once the demon has found you you do want to ration your ammo you do want to hit those headshots with your ranged weapons and you might have to resort to the melee attacks every now and then a mistake number six is using fire to lower your fear before you get into a car now as soon as you get into a car and you know you have to drive quite a way your fear is going to shoot up through the roof so there's absolutely no point you sitting by a campfire trying to lower your fear just so you get into a car and then your fear skyrockets again what you want to do is get into a car with your fear high it doesn't matter because a demon can't possess you if you are inside a car and then drive all the way to your objective just before you get to your objective look for that place you can lit a fire or a lit up house that you can go in to lower your fear do not do the other way around that's just wasting your time mistake number five is taking high rarity weapons from other classes oh god this gives me a little bit of a headache really the other day I was playing with some new players and i did have this amanda she was new and she probably doesn't know and i have found a legendary bat i don't think i've ever seen a legendary bat before so i had a scotty on my team so i ran towards them they were all grouped up doing objective once i got near them i dropped that bat and i pinged it because scotty was engaged in combat amanda came in and grabbed that and i I was screaming on the mic, drop that weapon for Scotty, drop that weapon. They didn't do it, they didn't listen, they probably didn't know, maybe they didn't speak English, I don't know. So if you see a purple or a legendary melee weapon and you're a hunter, grab it for your warrior, drop it for your warrior. And likewise, if you're a warrior and you see a legendary blunderbuss, for instance, take it, drop it to your hunter when you see them. Because you guys must know now, hunters, they do 150% more damage with ranged weapons, but they have a penalty of 30% on melee attack. So they only do 70% of the damage that shows on the weapon. And the same for the warriors. The warriors do 150% damage with the melee weapons, but they have a 50% penalty when using ranged weapons. So no point using it unless, like we said before, you want to try to depossess your teammates. But then if you're playing support and a leader, who gets the best weapons? Well, the leaders, they actually are the only class that don't have any penalties for both melee and ranged weapons. So they do 100% melee damage and 100% ranged weapons. So if your hunter is well kitted, your warrior is well kitted, the next good weapon should go to the leader, not to the support. The support, they have 20% debuff to both melee and ranged. So they only do 80% of the damage for both those weapons. So bear that in mind. Fourth mistake people are doing is they are going on a solo mission and they're not a hunter. They're not even a warrior. They are support. If you're support, remember, you have 20% debuff to all your damage. You have less dodges than your hunter fellows. I think the supports maybe have three dodges. And then when you heal, you're wasting your heals because you could be healing your whole team rather than just healing yourself. So if you're support, stick to your warrior, stick to your hunter, maybe stick to the higher level player. Now you can see which players are high level and which are not. So if you 
are starting new in this game, you pick a support because you like the healable part, don't go on a solo mission. Stick to the high level players and just make sure they're well healed up because the more experienced players, most of the times they know what they're doing. A lot of the time they know, but most of the time they do. So you want to stick close to them and make sure that they are healed when they need to be. And I know some of you guys might say, oh, it's the other way around. Warriors should stick to the supports. Yes, there's an argument to say that could be true. And another thing you might be saying is that a lot of high level players, they don't know what they're doing. A lot of prestige levels are being really selfish. And yes, all of those are also true. And I have come across those prestige players. But I'll tell you what, sometimes the problem is prestige players or high level players, they think the new players don't know what they're doing. So if you're a new player and you think you know what you're doing, show the high level player that you know what you're doing. Just earlier today, I got matched with a support Ash and I wasn't quite sure if he knew what he was doing, but very soon I realized he was following me. I was playing Kelly and he was just tagging along. And then I saw that he was healing me. So I thought, oh, hold on a second. This guy knows what he's doing. So I started dropping him healables because I could see he knew what he was doing. And this is how you want to play the game. Most people don't use mics. So just communicate through your actions. Just show the other players that you know what you're doing. Stick together. Heal your teammates. Drop them ammo. Okay, the third mistake you are doing is you are not taking all the ammo you see for your hunters. And okay, you don't need to grab all the ammo you see. But in the same way that you grab all the champs and amulets you can to give to your support, you also want to grab as much ammo as you can to your hunters. If you have an, any leader on your team, you might also want to grab some ammo. I mean, Leader Ash and Arthur, they do 100% range damage, so it's better than nothing. So you could be exchanging ammo with those players if they happen to be on your team. But just pay attention because hunters, they will ask you for ammo and it will show here on the left side of the screen. When I'm playing hunter, I start asking ammo from the very start of the game because I know people just don't pick up ammo. And a lot of the time when they do pick up ammo, they don't drop it. There was a game I just did now and I kept asking for ammo all the time. I was using a revolver and then Mia got killed. And once she got killed, she dropped all this handgun ammo she was holding on to. I mean, what the hell? And then I thought I could be doing a lot more damage here if I had those ammo because I completely ran out. So we ended up losing the game. Could we have won the game if I had more ammo? Maybe, maybe still not, but could have increased our chances. So help your team by grabbing the ammo and dropping to whoever needs it. Okay, mistake number two. And here I was in doubt if this, is this mistake number two. Is this a top mistake or is this a second top? I wasn't quite sure, but this is one of the big ones. Basically what it is, is you're not using cars or buildings to loop the demon. So let's start with the first one. You can use the cars to distract the demon. You can use the cars to run away from the demon. So imagine the demon just summon a boss next to you. There's a car next to you also what do you do do you try to fight the demon the boss or do you get into a car you get into a car you get the hell out of that now this goes also for basic units that get possessed whenever the demon is around you and is harassing you is bullying you get into a car and just drive off because they can't catch the cars you have to slow down you have to make a mistake with the cars and then they catch up with you they'll be able to possess the car flip the car whatever but until they catch up with you you are wasting the demon's time and this is what you want to be doing now say you don't have a car around you right but there's a building near you there's a house around you especially the houses with the little fences around that you can keep vaulting the demon can't vault those fences the demon can vault through windows but he can't vault through the little fences also some demon bosses they can't go through the windows and i know ellie goes he can't so if they're playing evil ash they can i'm not sure about henrietta i'm not sure about the plague bringer perhaps someone can tell me but if they're playing ellie goes they definitely can't go through windows so if they summon a boss and the, you are near a house there's no no car around, get into the house, start looping them around windows, vote through the porch fences, try to buy yourself some time. Because also remember, whenever they possess a unit, their infernal energy will start going down on a countdown. Once it hits zero, they will depossess. So actually when the boss appears near you, it's not game over. You can still loop it around. And if you loop it around for enough time, you will depossess. And then basically you won this little struggle you got yourself into. So the very top mistake you are doing, and that's why you're losing your matches. And I'll tell you now, I'll see prestige players doing this and they'll just keep walking and walking, going from house to house, 
looting and they don't go to the objective. You would only win this game if you rush the demon. You have to be quick. You have to grab those map pieces and then you have to go to the objectives, just get it all done, level cap the demon so you will never be strong enough to win the game. Once it gets to level 30, it's very difficult to beat the demon. You can still do it, but you really have to work together as a team. If you're on solo queue, like I do most of the time, like most people do, then you gotta be quick. If you don't have a mic, people are not following your queue or if people are just dispersing, well, you're gonna have to try and do the best you can. You're either gonna follow your teammates or you're gonna try and do some things on your own. The demon can't see you at the beginning of the match. Just try and go for the map pieces as quickly as you can. You loot on the way. You don't spend more than one or two minutes in each house looting. Actually, one minute is too long. Make it 30 seconds. Once you've got a decent gun, you got a decent weapon, you got a couple of shams, maybe one amulet, you found a few boxes with pink Fs inside, you've upgraded a little bit your character, just move on, keep going. And then once you've found your three map pieces, you should have enough healables and ammo and everything you need to go to the objective. Get into a car and you go. It doesn't matter if the demon has found you or not. You don't want to be walking. Just go to the objective because as soon as you start the objective, the demon will go straight there. And as a matter of fact, once you do the three map pieces, it might be that the demon will be waiting for you at the objective. It might make a mistake and you will go to the wrong one, but it might not. It might be waiting for you at exactly the same objective you're going towards. So you might as well get into a car and just go. Every single second matters. Every minute that you don't do what you should be doing, the demon is setting up traps on the chests, he's setting up traps in the air, he's setting up traps in the trees, he's leveling up. I've seen demons win a game and they barely engaged with the survivors. They just trapped the whole map and by the time he got to the objectives, the demon was already way past level 10. And once they're past level 10, they can summon the boss. So all they have to do once they get to the objective is summon as many units and the, as they can and then summon the boss because this is how they really win the game it's overwhelming the players with loads of units around and then getting the boss up if they're playing with a necro like this i mean you're really in for trouble so you want to try and cap the demons level as much as you can anyway guys this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed this i hope this was useful if you have any other mistakes that you see people doing over and over again please put it down in the comments let's try and make everybody as aware of these mistakes as much as possible and if you're a demon and you're watching this i'm sorry for these tips i know i'm focusing a lot on survivors at the moment i do have something coming out for you guys very soon because i know demons complain as well and you guys do think that demons need more buffs and i'm not here to agree or disagree i think both sides have potential and the demons need as much love as the survivors do drop me a like and subscribe for more content like this and i will see you all next time